watch you guys got another video on the myth of Linux invincibility. Common belief that Linux is inherently unhackable or immune to malware. Everyone seems to say that Linux is unhackable, it's a fortress against cyber threats, but what if the undeniable truth is actually a dangerous myth? So we're going to be pulling back the curtain today to expose the surprising vulnerabilities you've never been told about Linux. Now we know Linux is less of a target than Windows due to its user-based permissions, use of packet managers for software installations, and smaller desktop market share. But it's not immune to ransomware, and it's not immune to attacks. And more ransomware is targeting Linux systems, and it's on the rise. Now, Linux is generally more secure due to its open source nature and robust security features, uh, but it can still be infected through vulnerabilities and misconfigurations or exploited exploits. Now, you may get a lot of people in the comments section that use Linux and think I'm attacking Linux and I'm not. It's just the fact that I get quite tired of seeing comments from people saying it's immune, they don't get malware, they don't get ransomware, they don't get any of these problems on Linux. Just install Linux. And yet it shows how ill-informed they are when it comes to the Linux operating system. Now, Linux is open source. That means that it has a potential for hackers to study the system for possible uh, vulnerabilities and exploits. Now, for years, Linux was seen as the giant of enterprise infrastructure for being reliable, stable, and even far less targeted than Windows. But that time is now over, and ransomware operators are targeting Linux on a mass scale. We can no longer afford to treat Linux environments as inherently secure or even low risk. Now, Linux powers over 80% of the public cloud workloads, and also over 96% of the top million web servers out there. Now, Linux ransomware is not unheard of. 62% increase in Linux ransomware attacks uh, just recently. And one such example is the kill disk ransomware that targeted financial infrastructures. And this is going back a few years, but it is on the rise and there's more and more uh, nasty malware and ransomware being created by some of these cyber gangs. So the more popular Linux gets, the more it's going to start to be targeted by some of these uh, cyber criminals. Now, in the past, they've had pay to key ransomware, which is built to design to target Linux based systems in the builder options. They've had hell down ransomware expands its scope to VMware and also Linux. You've got BERT ransomware, which weaponizes Linux's L files. So basically, the threat is clear and it is growing. So what malware types targeted Linux systems? Well, we've got WebShell here, 49.6%. Adware is only at 2.9%. Trojans are at 29.4%. Phishing is only 1.8%. Backdoors are 11.6%. And Hacktool is 0.2%. You got cyber currency miner, which is 4.2%, and others at 0.3%. And if you look at Trend Micro, it has a lot of information here about what types of infections uh, are trying to attack Linux. And the worst thing is, yes, Windows might be attacked more than Linux, but what happens with Linux is it's more severe. They have more severe types of infections that are attacking them, which obviously means it's going to be attacking businesses and infrastructures. And here's a nasty type of ransomware from a few years ago called Kill Disk, which was a disk wiping type malware, which is pretty nasty. It was named as ransomware and you can't decrypt it. And we've had similar ones to that on Windows as well. So are you running Linux thinking you're completely safe? Well, think again. The perceived invincibility of Linux security might just be your biggest blind spot. Now, having a misconfigured permissions is dangerous because incorrectly configured permissions can allow ransomware to access and encrypt sensitive data on your system. Now, it goes without saying you should keep everything updated. Regularly update the Linux kernel. 
uh, system packages and all the installed software to patch for vulnerabilities. Don't use any outdated old software or any sort of uh, outdated distros that might not be supported anymore. Implement strong security practices and also make sure that you're running as administrator and you have strict permissions set for that account. Maybe consider installing some form of monitoring software where you can monitor uh, the ingoings and outgoings of your network traffic where you can block uh, certain threats if you see them. And also back up all your data on a regular basis. It's the same principle as Windows, really. It's just another operating system and you have to uh, do certain things to protect yourself. So Linux is like any other operating system, really. Linux can have security flaws as well, and attackers can exploit and deploy nasty ransomware and malware to that system. So a recent example is the use of the Linux kernel flaw to spread ransomware, and that file was CVE 2024-1086, and you can look it up for yourself. But there has been many of a problem with Linux over the years, and it does get patched. Now, flipping pages showed you how the CVE 2024-1086 works and how it was uh, you know, used to infiltrate the system. And you can see right here on the site, uh, there's an image right there. So I'll leave a link for that in the video description, and you can read it at your own leisure. But again, don't take everything for granted that Linux is this immune beast that doesn't ever get infected because it's so superior to Windows. And no operating system is 100% secure. There's flaws in every operating system, in every piece of software, in every piece of hardware. People will always find a way to gain access. No matter what operating system you're using, whether it's Windows or Linux or Mac OS, there's always been flaws and they've always had to be patched. And because the Linux desktop operating system has such a small user base, it's probably not as targeted as much as Windows. And if you see as many people using, say, Linux as you do Windows, you're probably going to be seeing more and more exploits being found, malware being created, and also ransomware being created to attack uh, Linux on a much larger scale than it is now, but it is growing. The threat is growing for Linux users. So don't think you're completely immune because you're using Linux all of a sudden. Always keep your wits about you and you still have to use a bit of common sense when surfing the web, even whether you're on Windows or on Linux. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.